hi guys morning um i look crazy because i need to sort this video out this is a good angle okay so hi guys i have to switch tripod so that you guys can see me while i shoot my hair but hi hi welcome back to my channel um i'm back in nigeria i came back like when two days ago came back two days ago and this is basically going to be like a pamper vlog so like it has to be a pamper week um this morning i have a lash appointment don't pay no mind to have shit in this hair because i just want to do this it's not that deep it's actually not that deep but like yeah like i'm making my hair soon either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow but i don't know yet i haven't like decided yet because i haven't decided like what hair i want to do yet but like i just need to be quick because my appointment at 11 and the time right now is hey siri what's the time it's 10 7 a.m mm -hmm. can you guys hear my siri you know how i'll just be like oh what's the time right now i'll be like once to tell you guys what the time is and i will have to walk all the way to go and find where my phone is to check the time i have to flip my phone over to check the time hmm. those days are gone those days are gone mm -mm. um yeah i need to be quick sure let's shut up and be quick i've been back for like two days now i spent the whole yesterday just resting the day i came back i spent it like sleeping like i was just sleeping um that day like i didn't even sleep straight away i just came back and i packed all my stuff so i'm one of those you know how they say I, like after a long day after a long trip like you have those people that will just like rest because they are exhausted and then unpack later or unpack um you know small small just between small small to your fully unpacked i'm not that type of i am not i am not i'm not that type i need to get all my stuff unpacked like daddy and i need to get everything not even like unpacked i'll move everything on my suitcase i need to get everything organized and in, in its place like i'm not the type to just leave leave it and i'll be doing it small small or like i'll sleep and then you know i need to like get that's maybe i can sleep up i need to get all my stuff unpacked and organized um i made a few changes and added some a few things to my room that i won't share with you guys but obviously i'll do that after my appointment yeah i'm very excited i'm very excited hmm. i've been shooting one side for the past how many ah, you guys i need to concentrate my bed because i need to go i tried i tried by the way i got this brush from sephora best decision ever because I just like how it has, you know, it has this pointy bit. I don't know if it's focusing. It has this pointy bit, but also has that soft one inside. Can you guys see? I don't feel like. That's why it's perfect. Yeah. It's a bit. It's. I need the. to put the tiny bits of hair on my floor because there's nothing I hate more than hair on my floor um, then I'll wear my bag and go I'm that's right okay I'm going I look like a human being at least
see your hair. Eh? Flaunt your hair. You like it? You not? No. Are you sure? Yeah. No. The smile. <laughs> I'm really happy with my lashes. One, one of my vlogs, I spoke about the two places here in Abuja that I go to for my lashes. One of them was the Brow Hut and the other one was um, Rita. Um, I've forgotten her Instagram handle, but I'll put them on the screen just to remind myself and remind you guys as well. When I moved back to Abuja and I was looking for a, a lash tech, she was the first person that I found and I just stuck with her. Like, I've always just used her. Till so my sister was just like, oh, the brow hoods and I was just like, okay, let me try them out. I really like their lashes. It was neat and nice. But I failed to mention that the lashes that I've done with them like twice now, were uncomfortable the first time i didn't mention it the first time not because like i was trying to like hide that information it's just because i felt like this is my first time using them and let time pass and let me see if it gets better that and even the second time just before i traveled that i got my lashes done with them even that one was uncomfortable but yeah that's another thing i don't want to generalize and say oh yeah like the lashes from the brow holds are usually uncomfortable because they have different lash technicians you get and the first time i got my lashes done with them i used a particular babe the second time i got my lashes done done with them it was the same babe maybe it's a problem with that particular lash technician and not the rest because they have like a few others you get so i don't want to generalize i don't even know how she fixed her lashes i don't even know but i felt like there was a lot of discomfort under my eyes and like it just didn't feel nice you get if you're watching and you live in abuja and you're looking for somewhere to do your lashes you know where to go who to use you get what i'm trying to say i'm not trying to like stand out anybody or call anybody out but like yeah like that's why i decided to like you know stick with Rita because her lashes the only thing i said like i mentioned in my last vlog the only thing that was an issue with me was the fact that her place was a bit far from where i live and the brow hut is not as far away as where i go to to get my lashes done with her and rather make the drive come back love my lashes and everything just feels normal than have something on that's like really inconveniencing me and poking my eyes i said i'm going to put rita's instagram handle on the screen somewhere after getting my lashes done um i came back home and i went out with my mom and i came back yeah that's how this day has been so far hi guys i'm about to go for my nail appointment also i burnt myself i don't know if you can see that gray patch i'm so upset i don't know if like i don't want to be upset because i don't want to spoil my day but at the same time like, i could have avoided it it's so annoying so i hate wigs as far as it's not that deep it's just skin but um, yeah i have to leave now and i will see you guys when i get there Stranger, it told me to not let my smile fade. 
when the world was prettier. Oh, my innocence is gone, and I feel a cold front on its way now. I remember when the devil on my shoulder told me there'd be a day. I put that t-shirt over my PJs just so I don't get hair and water on my PJs. That's what I look like. Oh, I changed, but I didn't change. Just my PJs. I must have my shower now and I'll see you guys after. I realized that I didn't talk to you guys about my nails. So you notice that the nails I have on now isn't the same nails that I showed you guys that I was going to do. I had a nail design that I showed the nail technician. I told him I want the exact same shape, the exact same design, but he didn't give me the exact same shape as the one in the video. And that's where like he actually messed up. But because obviously like he had filed it really well and I wasn't like I wasn't the shape was good, right? It's not as if one was going the other way and he wasn't finding it well and the acrylic powder wasn't placed well. So I was fine with it. I didn't think it was going to be a problem. I just thought regardless, like obviously, um, it will still turn out nice with the chrome. So we ended up getting to the end where we were putting the chrome and it just, to me, it just didn't look nice. I just didn't like, it wasn't giving what I thought it would give. And, and it was mostly because the shape I had asked him to give me initially he didn't give me the same exact shape i feel like that was what the problem was so i was looking at it and it wasn't just it just wasn't it i told him that i didn't know i don't like it and it's just not it and then he was just like okay but like it looks nice what's the problem it wasn't bad and maybe you guys are really seeing a glimpse of it from like the montage that i put in so i was just like yeah i'm not going home with this when i do this then i'll actually keep mute and pay for something that i'm not happy with and i asked him to what's it called just take off the chrome mind you while i was there right there were like four other customers apart from me who were complaining that they did not like their nails so imagine that i was thinking oh i'm not really very happy with my nails and then other people are complaining about their nails so i was just like you know what yeah just just file off the chrome and put a top coat on my nails i'll carry it like that so that's what happened this is literally just acrylic powder and a top coat no design which i'm not mad at like you know once it's filed properly i don't really make a big fuss about it and i've actually been wanting to try out this um natural nail look but but the nail art addict in me never allowed me to just like go into a nail salon and come out with plain nails like this so the only reason why i actually visited that place is because my nail technician is currently not around and He's not back till God knows when. So I was just like, okay, let me try out a new place, which is why I use them. I'm definitely not going back there anymore. I made some little changes and I got some things from my room, which I'm going to be showing you guys. So let's go. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is this. Oh, the containers that I recently got in Houston. I got this at Burlington right no actually i got these at a container store i can't remember the name of the container store but like i'm going to ask my sister to see if she remembers and these two containers wow and i knew that i just wanted to use it to organize my makeup because i did not have anything to keep my makeup in organize it cap actually i had something but like it just didn't look organized you know how you just you just throw your makeup into like um a particular bag and everything is just there you get but like this is i'm feeling this more i love how like organized my makeup is how i have my foundation my primer before this my makeup used to be i'll show you guys where my makeup used to be before the containers all my makeup stayed inside this basket every single thing stayed inside this basket and i got this just because like i thought like okay i could put my makeup in here and you know if my all my makeup is in one place it just makes things easier but like everything was just like in here like both the things that i use and the things that i don't use regularly and stuff that like literally have never used i just got them every time i had to do my makeup it was always very inconvenient to me because i had to like look through it to actually find what i'm looking for i still have to sort through this because there's still 
unused makeup inside of here but the ones that i actually use and the ones that i don't use so i'm going to still sort this out and then i'll probably give out some makeup so i got this mirror from tj maxx recently and i'm so 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 happy that i got it usually if i don't stay in my bathroom to do my makeup i sit right in front of this table there's a window here so there's light coming from here so i usually sit here and i usually have to take that mirror over there and put it here but like you know i just needed something for this table just uh it's just easier for me to do my makeup this is what this table looks like this table right over here very organized i really like it and then also another change that i made recently is this small book area book shelf bookshelf area or book area that i have my last blog i told you guys about the amount of books that i got over the summer and i just kind of fell in love with reading again and so i just decided to create this little space for the books that i got and they just look so pretty And I have some candles on the table. I have that basket over there that has some more candles. Um, this this stuff I got it from TJ Maxx as well. It has a bunch of hair. I don't know what to call this. Hair ties, hair stuff, just stuff to pack your hair up with. And then I have um, room sprays from Zara Home. I showed you guys this before in one of my vlogs. And then I have my hair, my hair claws, my hair clips, clips hair claws i don't know you know and then some lavender oil to help me sleep i keep it inside there and then my lighter for my candles as you can see there's literally candles in almost every single part of my room because i love candles a lot so you guys that i got these flowers from primark yeah primark and then i got the vase from h&m home I look so cute. It's hey Siri, what's the time? It's 7.36. Sorry, one more time. It's 7.36 p.m. Like, it just makes me like easy. I just love this pee. I just love it. I love it. I love it. Like, you don't even understand. It's the little things. So this is just right next to my mirror so where i stand to actually do my skincare and all of that which is very convenient i used to have one over there which which i moved to this side this one was really weak like that this is behind it was really weak so so one morning like that all my products that were inside of it fell on the floor and my kombucha essence broke like i didn't know if i should cry or if i should laugh because of that i knew that it was getting weak and i had to like you know replace it and get another one this one i got from this ikea in abuja here and then this one i got from burlington in houston so i got two this time just so that my product can be nicely organized on there I was still using this nail power essence. I started using it on the day that I got back and then I stopped it like three days after using it. So usually when I start a new product, right, I only have to give my skin three days before it starts telling me something. One of the third day of using this, I looked at my skin and everything looked fine. So I, I thought, okay, maybe, you know, it's good. Plus there's so much hype with this product that I thought, okay, like, you know, like, you know my skin wouldn't react like it'll be fine that's the same thing that happened when i started using my rose deep hydrating toner i had i heard so much about it from like lots of people and how they say it was good it was very gentle all of that I decided to like actually try it out and since then i've stopped with it ever since because it was just good to my skin and it never made me react whatsoever so instead of using this in the evening that's when i started noticing like tiny 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 bumps on my face which are no longer there anymore because i stopped it immediately so you know how people always just like oh it will get bad before it gets better i don't subscribe i don't engage with that p like, i don't do that i'm not doing that with you because that's what skincare is trial and error like if you don't try products how would you know what's going to work for you and how would you know 
what won't work for you do you get so i'm not mad at it i'm very happy that i actually tried it i'm just kind of like you know letting you guys know the drill and you know how these products are working so far because i did say i was going to do that when i did the sephora horse on the floor remember these baskets from one of my vlogs that i got from primark i just use them to organize some hair products um i put my pads in here and then some perfume oils and then my some more my comb and hair brush i put them in there just i just want to show you guys how organized this is like this is a restock of like all my skin products that i use like all my body mess my skin products this um remember when i got this mug this mug is not for use this mug is just there so i put on, <laughs> i put it on there here of my fresh my fresh products um yeah my sunscreen my moisturizer body shop my face mask all of it all of that is in there some tissue um some more cotton pads and a restock of like a lot of the products that i use um and body cream all of that all my extras don't wait for them to finish i restock on them and i just add it to this space that's all i'm showing i still have like a few more things that are coming back that i'm going to add to my room so when that comes in and you know i've placed them around in my room i'm definitely going to be showing you guys what that is so yeah that's it really like that's all i'm showing for now it's just the little things like just the little stuff that she just made me so excited like just organizing my room and making it just look so nice like just makes me very happy i enjoy just like buying stuff and adding them to my room buying stuff for my room and just adding them like it's so cute but yeah that's it that is it and i think i might be ending this vlog here or maybe not but just in case don't forget to like comment share and subscribe please subscribe to my channel don't be wicked subscribe now and see you in my next video